week on Geek Crash Course, we get lost. No, not lost. No, no, let me finish. We get lost in space. Oh, way better. Yeah, I know. based on family survival novel The Swiss Family Robinson, Lost in Space is a classic sci-fi series that focused on the adventures of the Robinsons, a family of astronauts who head on a deep space mission from Earth to Alpha Centauri in the far-flung future of 1997. The Robinsons, along with an Air Force pilot and a complex robot, set off in the Jupiter II, but a saboteur, the deadly Dr. Smith, reprograms the robot to destroy the vessel, but is trapped aboard during the launch. Waking the Robinson family to save himself, the whole group are marooned on a planet for the first season, working to repair the ship while dealing with the various hazards of their temporary home. The Robinson family includes Father John, an astrophysicist, Mother Maureen, a biochemist, daughters Penny, the oldest, and Judy, the middle child, as well as precocious nine-year-old computer whiz Will. Major Don West joins the family for their adventure, keeping the family safe from the various threats they face. The restored robot also aids the family with a variety of scientific scanners and built-in defensive measures. As he was the last actor cast, Jonathan Harris, who played Dr. Smith, was planned to have the last credit in the titles. Due to Harris's protest, he was credited throughout the series as a special guest star and had a hand in redefining his character as the series developed. As the series progressed and fearing competition from the colorful and campy 1966 Batman series, the tone of the show shifted to match. The previously sinister Dr. Smith became more of a foolish coward, and the series changed focus to the adventures of Will Smith and the robot. The robot's cries of danger, Will Robinson, became a mainstay, much like Smith's derogatory replies to the robot, such as, you mechanical moron. Sadly, this shift in tone didn't save the series and it was cancelled in the third season, ending without the Robinsons either reaching their intended destination of Alpha Centauri or returning home to Earth. There are a variety of reasons cited for the cancellation, but there's never really been a definitive answer. Whatever the reason, Lost in Space remains a definitive space-set sci-fi series, building something a bit more fun and rompy than its more thoughtful, philosophical 60s space-based counterpart, Star Trek. The robot was designed by Robert Kinoshita, the same man who created Robbie the Robot, a classic sci-fi robot first seen in Forbidden Planet. Robbie actually shows up in two episodes of Lost in Space as two different characters. If you haven't seen it before, track down the original Lost in Space series. It's a fun sci-fi adventure series and an inspiration point for other sci-fi creators, so it's worth a look. Oh, and no surprise to anybody in the know on this, but we're not going to recommend the 90s flick. It's awful, despite a cool redesign of the robot and Gary Oldman's old trick hamp turn as Dr. Smith. The series regularly featured innovations of the then-relatively new NASA, including space blankets, aluminum fabric spacesuits, and Velcro fasteners similar to those developed for the Apollo space program. If you could go into space with your family, would you? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe for more Geek Crash Course. Until next week, if you're feeling lost, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, geekcrashcourse.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on, on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. The restored robot also aids the family with a variety of scientific scanners and built-in defensive measures. Danger, Will Robinson! Oh, Danger! Oh, oh. That's the best thing that has ever happened on this show. Yeah, that's, yeah.